livestock has great importance in the Indian agriculture system. Agriculture and livestock are not only interdependent, but they are complementary. In India, animals are reared for milk, meat and draft purposes. The time has come for our farmers to come forward to increase the contribution of livestock to our national economy. Our farming community needs more information on livestock management. They need to be aware that meat animals should be grown to an optimum age and weight at slaughter for maximum gain. This will help control their expenses. Healthy animals provide healthy product and thus protect consumer health. By following proper management and preventive care, animals can be protected from parasitic and bacterial infections which affect growth of meat animals. It would be immensely useful to farmers to gain knowledge of scientific meat processing before they take up livestock management to make them more professional and to increase their income. In India, chicken, mutton, beef and pork are popular. A culture of scientific animal rearing, breeding and meat processing can benefit the meat industry immensely. Farmers or the animal owners, if they go for the scheduled vaccinations, particularly before the monsoon, set of the monsoon, for these HS, FMD, and other vaccinations, I am sure they will not only protect their animals' wealth, but they will also earn a lot of money with the increase of milk and meat production. There is a need today for healthy, wholesome and nutritional meat and its byproducts. There is a large domestic market for meat consumption as well as opportunities for export. Proper care of the animal is necessary before slaughter because stress to the animal before slaughter greatly affects the quality of meat. Anti-mortem examination of meat animals before slaughter is practiced to allow healthier and clean animals for slaughter and to protect human health. Animals are also stunned before slaughter either by mechanical or electric devices. The humane methods of slaughter requires that all animals should be stunned before slaughter. Slaughterhouses must be kept neat, clean and well lit. Post-mortem inspection of slaughtered animals should only be carried out by authorized personnel who must legally clear safe meat for human consumption. Before post-mortem, the meat, skin and other parts of the slaughtered animal have to be thoroughly cleaned. After that, the meat goes into a chilling room where meat is stored at 12 to 15 degrees centigrade to be cut into suitable size cuts and portions for convenience of trade and to provide meat as per the consumer's preference. Meat is cut in different sizes for different animals. Cuts of high value which have lower bone content and connective tissue could be sold at higher prices. Meat is packed in food grade polythene bags to prevent contamination and for better presentation in trade.
When packed meat is stored refrigerated at 4 degrees centigrade, it has a shelf life of 5 to 7 days. Stored at minus 20 degrees centigrade, the meat has a shelf life of 3 to 4 months and at minus 30 degrees centigrade, it can be stored for up to 6 months. However, in India, people prefer to use fresh meat for their favorite preparations, which include kebabs, kofta, biryani, meat curry, korma and tandoori chicken. Lately, imported products and recipes such as sausages, burgers, patties, nuggets, meatballs, cured ham and bacon have become increasingly popular and with the increasing variety of meat products, their demand and market value are also on the rise, which is a welcome sign for meat producers, traders and consumers. Meat derived from older animals which tends to be more fibrous can be scientifically treated to make it more edible and attractive to consumers. It is better utilized as minced meat. Value added meat is a consumer product that provides several additional benefits. It adds food and nourishment value to otherwise ordinary meat by adding extenders and binders. Even meat byproducts are used to enhance the value of these products. It is easy to learn the methods of producing such value-added meat. Small industries can be cost-effectively set up for the purpose and yield rich dividends. Meat separated from the bone is minced and a meat emulsion is prepared by chopping minced meat with salt, phosphate, nitrites and chilled water to a sticky mass, followed by adding fat, condiments, spices and binders in a bowl chopper. Chopping is done to get a desired emulsion consistency. Emulsion quality depends on proper formulation of ingredients, correct order of addition of ingredients and temperature during chopping which has to be below 15 degrees centigrade. A number of emulsion based products such as sausages, patties, nuggets, meatballs and kebabs can be prepared by following proper procedure. To make patties, about 70 grams of emulsion is molded into a round mold and dropped on a greased perforated tray. The trays with raw patties are loaded onto a preheated oven and heated at 180 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. Patties are turned over after 10 minutes of cooking. Cooked patties are cooled, packed and stored, similar to sausages and reheated before consumption. To make nuggets, about 500 grams of emulsion is filled into a stainless steel container which is then placed in a drum-shaped container and steamed for about 45 minutes. After that, the meat is cooled and passed through a slicer machine for the nugget-shaped final product. These nuggets can be stored in polythene and refrigerated for use for about a whole month. To make sausages, they are made by stuffing the emulsion into casings using a sausage stuffer. The casing is first prepared with intestines of sheep, goat and pigs for different types of sausages. Stuffed casing are twisted for desired length into separate links. The links are then cooked in water at 80 degrees centigrade. Of the many types of kebab such as boti kebab, shami kebab and sikh kebab, sikh kebab is the most popular. Sikh kebab is made using about 40 grams of emulsion, rolled on to iron rods in a tubular fashion. It is then grilled at a high temperature over an open fire or a coal oven by constantly rotating to ensure even heating.
for changing times, meat is also being had as a snack. Chips make an especially popular snack for school children, but nutritionally they don't gain anything out of it. Spent hen meat can be suitably incorporated in such a product for healthful meat chips. Meat chips can be made using minced meat mixed with flour such as maida, salt, spices and condiments to prepare an emulsion. The emulsion is passed through a kitchen press to give it the proper shape of chips which are then deep fat fried till they become crisp. Meat chips are shelf stable at ambient temperature for a period of 4 months. To make meat samosas, minced meat is shallow fried in vegetable oil after adding boiled and mashed potato along with salt, spices and condiments at medium heat for nearly 10 minutes. This makes the filling and the cover dough is prepared separately. Small portions of dough are separately prepared in samosa cover, stuffed and then given the triangular shape typical of a samosa. It is then deep fat fried till the cover becomes crisp. Meat samosas contain nearly 13% protein which is 10% more than in regular samosas. Stringent quality control tests of products manufactured in these ways is essential for protection of public health. Microbial examination of products is done to assess spoilage and safety of products to consumers. Meat and meat products are prone to spoilage and pathogenic organisms contamination of products after cooking can cause problems that need to be prevented with adequate care. Utmost attention needs to be paid during the production, storage and transport of these products to maintain its health and nourishment value. Chicken, rabbit and the meat of goats and sheep have immense commercial potential. Farmers rearing these animals must ensure that the meat that they produce meets acceptable international standards of quality and safety. A number of nationalized banks, cooperative banks and various employment generating schemes of state and central governments provide financial assistance to take up meat products production as an enterprise by an individual or a group of individuals. For scientific and technical information on animal husbandry and related industries, please contact the Indian Veterinary Research Institute, Izzat Nagar Bareilly, Uttar Pradesh, at the Division of Livestock Products Technology. There is need for people's resolve and cooperation for us to rid the nation of malnourishment and unemployment. By making clean, safe and nourishing food available to our people, we can improve standards of public health and make India a developed nation. By increasing meat production, we can also raise India's ranking in the Committee of Nations and contribute substantially to the economic progress of the nation.